This is a really cool climb in South Wales that very few people seem to know of. I didn't even know it existed until the day before I rode it, but it was so much fun that I think it deserves to be discovered and ridden by more people. I thought I'd found all the climbs around Abergavenny, but I came across this segment when scouring Strava heat maps during my daily desperate quest to find new and exciting roads. Only about 300 people have ridden it, and from the segment title alone, it's obviously a pretty difficult climb. I love a steep wall, so my initial reservations were just regarding the quality of the road, as the lanes in this area can get quite nasty and often end up resembling tracks more suited to gravel bikes. But there's Google Maps street imagery for the entire road, which is a reasonable indicator that it's suitable for road bikes, so I decided to give it a go. Hello. The lane branches off the main road that climbs Langatic Mountain and starts off just gently rolling under tree cover. I'd actually descended this road earlier in the ride, so I sort of knew what I was in for. And I was actually quite scared to climb it because it was the type of descent where you feel like you might fall over your handlebars. And I had some serious doubts as to whether I'd make it up. Hopes are not high. The segment's also quite misleading because although it averages about 12% for two kilometers, it includes quite a long flat section at the beginning. So it's a pretty easy start, but when you hit this left hand bend, the road suddenly kicks up to about 20%. All the other lanes on this ride were pretty torn up and muddy, but this road seems to have been recently repaved, which makes a huge difference. When you're going at like 4 miles an hour, it's really difficult to properly maneuver your bike around dirt and sticks in the road, and something as small as a pebble can send you toppling over. So not having to worry about that made the gradients much more manageable. You still wouldn't want to encounter any vehicles as it's a pretty narrow road and impossible to ride without using the entire width of it. And I'm not sure you'd want to ride this in the wet, but given the pretty absorbent tarmac, I don't think you'd have as much trouble with like wheel slip as some other roads. And I was just riding this at survival pace, just trying to keep moving, which is still quite difficult. I was doing about 50 RPM, and this was with an 1134, so I'm not actually sure I would have made it up with an 1130, which is what I usually ride on. These two little bends form the hardest segment of the climb, which is especially difficult as you've already been on pretty drastic gradients for a while. And my nose is basically touching my Garmin as I tried to keep moving. I was also actually wearing my heart rate monitor for once. I usually don't bother because they're pretty annoying to wear and in my opinion, kind of useless to train to. Although I say that about power meters too, so you can probably ignore me. My heart rate's either 40 or about 210, uh, but I guess it's enough to give an indication that this was pretty hard. Once you get around these, uh, you pass over this castle grid and the gradient drops off quite a lot. And here is some footage from when I was descending it, which kind of shows you how steep the road looks when it's ahead of you.
climbed above the trees and get some really stunning views of the Black Mountains to your left and behind you. This climb kind of reminded me of Rear Road, which starts nearby in Kladak and earns itself a 10 out of 10 difficulty rating in Simon Warren's Cycling Climbs of Wales. Uh, I love that climb as well. But I really enjoyed this little climb. The quiet nature of it and great views made it especially rewarding. And I'm just really glad that I discovered it. it makes me wonder what other kind of secret climbs are waiting to be discovered. Uh, I did a few other really nice new climbs on this ride, and the whole ride was just really fun. Uh, but this one was definitely the highlight. This is kind of farmland area, so you might encounter some wildlife or the odd sheepdog is trying to be friendly. But in general, it's just a really nice quiet area. You can see Sugarloaf, or it might be Tabletop Mountain, I get confused, uh, in the distance behind you there. It eases off and officially ends when you bear left here, and you can continue along this ridge and drop down to Gilwyn or Black Rock from there, although I don't expect a lovely road surface to make another appearance. And here's a nice clip that marks the start and end of my vlogging career and makes me want to vomit. Well that was <coughs> absolutely awesome, at least say I did make it. That's enough of that. If you're ever looking for a cool, crazy, and very fun climb to tackle in South Wales, this one should be top of the list.